point. Yeah. Okay, so um, someone asked me, like, uh, uh, so why do or what do I do or what do you do with experiences that are sort of coming and going? Uh, such as um, the experiences, uh, shall we say, of enlightenment, of just uh, the experiencing of infinite love and the presence of infinite love without, with the absence of, of any ego identity and those sublime ecstatic states. And then they seem less at, uh, at some time. They seem, uh, you know, they seem to be gone and then they come back and why they're going and coming back. And, uh, you know, if I had anything to say on that, well, I would say um, it sounds very, very good if one is getting experiences of, of the presence of infinite timeless love and with the absence of the ego self, uh, it's a very, very good sign. And that's just normal. Um, it's, these states aren't always constant to begin with, but they become more and more present the more one does this spiritual work. So all I would do um, with those is just have acceptance. That's just the way it works. And um, you see, something is noticed, like something is noticing. Yesterday, there was absolute stunning love, the presence of stunning love that was witnessed in everything. And there was no sense of individual self. And then today, it seems a little bit, it's not as stunning as that. So there's a noticing of a difference between yesterday and today. Now, if if there is a noticing, I mean, just to even say that uh, would would uh, bring in the spiritual purification process of you'd I would say like uh, if there's a noticing, what observes the noticing? What's witnessing the noticing from yesterday to today? And if I go to the witnesser of what has noticed the difference, you know, the changing states. Um, uh, I, I would try and see, go to the witnesser that witnesses trans, transitory states that can witness the difference between, oh, it seems to be stunning love, and now there seems to be less stunning love. So something has identified or is identifying differences. So there must be an observer or a witnesser of the fluctuating states. So whatever is noticing the difference, well, is there an observer or a witnesser of that, a detached witnesser of that? Um, and and if that witnesser can uh, register, you know, differing states or states that are going in and out, or uh, 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 of appearance, then um, it does the witnesser notice those uh, transitory states. And if it does, is there a wit is there a detached witnesser of that witnesser? So in that way, uh, what I'd be doing is I'd be trying to disappear the thing that is within me that that monitors differing states. So you disappear what it is within me. So there seems to be some aspect of ego that seems to be tracking or identifying that the, yesterday was stunning love and today there's less stunning love. And that can, that can sometimes bring up the ego, like trying to say, well, am I doing less spiritual work today than yesterday or have I got something wrong today or... Maybe yesterday was better. I mean, if that inner dialogue is going, just go to the observer of thoughts. So in that way, I would try and disappear any aspect of self, either disappear the, the thing in me that is tracking or identifying a differing or changing states uh, by going to the observer of, the, of that which is aware of differing states or, if, or making a dialogue about different differing states. Go to the observer of that. And sometimes the observer, if it's a deeper observer, would it'll just it, that would just pop and it would there will no longer even be the idea of differing states or there was a different state yesterday or there is a different state or there's anything wrong about today's state and uh, and and if there is today's state you know once there is just oneness and there's no memory of the past or no no um no tracking of um differing states there's just the oneness then, then you're dissolving it. And if suddenly, in the next moment, uh, there suddenly is a realize that the last moment was more stunning than this moment, again, go to the observer, what's noticing that? So eventually you're getting to a deeper observer or witnesser state or inner state 
which which stops to track differences between uh, alternate uh, differing or in and out states. So that will disappear this awareness of, oh, that state yesterday was better than this state or this state. So you're just dissolving these um, duality, uh, you could call them dualities or polarities that are still, are still existing. That's quite normal. Uh, you could ask, why does that happen? Well, that's just part of spirit. I mean, there, there are aspects of the ego uh, which are being dissolved, but then at certain points in divine order, certain other aspects of ego arise which creates differentials in, in, and different levels uh, of different spiritual experiences and different states and comparisons. So we want to dissolve these dualities until there's just a constant, a constant state that doesn't change. And so the, the enlightened state is one that doesn't change. There is no more this and that or something that was better in the past or now. Uh, so the fluctuations eventually end. And that's the best way. It's not necessary to understand why or go into a long story about karma and limiting beliefs. It's more just, just dissolve anything until there is no uh, differing states.